Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. I'll bet you're just dying to know if this thing is worth the money. Let's jump right in and see if I can take my shot at answering that question as we sit here in 2022 with prices through the roof. First things first, what money is going into this thing? There's the purchase itself. There's the maintenance and all the little knickknacks, accessories, you know, things you'll need. Then there are the implements. And prices for all of that have gone up. So let's start with the tractor itself. This is a Massey GC1723E. I've got the loader with the bucket, the FL1805 loader, and no belly mower, uh, no, not the... TLB or uh, the backhoe model, just the, the base 1723E. So MSRP, let's do the comparison. So in January of 2022, the MSRP on this, as you see it sitting here with the loader in the bucket, was 14502 The MSRP today, if you were to buy it, is $15,554. So that's a jump of about $1,000. Sounds like a lot, but really in the context of today's environment, that's really not that much. Uh, it, it just really isn't. Um, so the tractor itself, my answer to that question is, yeah, yeah, it's still, it's still worth it. Um, especially, I guess, you know, if you're making payments on it, um, how much more is that a month? Not, not a whole lot. For the amount of work you get out of this thing, totally worth it. A year from now when it's going up another thousand or two or, th you know, we can talk about that then. But as we stand today, totally worth it. What about the maintenance and all the little knickknacks and accessories? So we'll do a little sidebar on that here now. Uh, so here on the screen, these are the actual numbers. This is every penny I've put into this thing. Uh, implements and all and the only hidden number here is the box blade I split the price of the box blade with my neighbor Steve uh, everything else here is straight up tax shipping you know whatever all in numbers uh, even the tip I gave the guy who who delivered this thing is is rolled in, into these numbers here so as you can see uh, that's really not a whole lot. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's a couple grand, what, more than uh, for implements, accessories, and pins, and everything. Uh, but still, it's really just a blip, I would say, um, to the overall cost of the tractor. And again, I would say a blip compared to the work you get out of this. Uh, so now let's break it down and talk specifically about the implements. You've seen the prices here, and I'll show them again. Uh, separately um, but you've seen the prices i paid for the implements but now let's break them down and show you the price if you were to go out there and buy that implement today um and i'll do full disclosure on coupons and deals and everything you know that that i i did to get my prices so let me get back to my list here um the pallet forks i think the most valuable attachment out there pallet forks i got the titan 36 inch pallet forks in March 1st of 2021. I'll put it on the screen here for 460.74 plus tax. If you were to buy those same 36 forks today, 749.99 plus tax. I think Titan still does free shipping. And I want to be clear, the model on that per my invoice is 132241. And they list, or they listed back then as 3,000 pound capacity, four inch fork uh, width. This is the 36 inch forks, the pounds, every, you can see the chart there, apples to apples. They just upped the rating from 3,000 to 4,000. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure how they got to that, but that's what has changed. And the price has certainly gone up as well uh, since, since then. But best I can tell, they're the exact same pallet forks, apples to apples. So quite a bit higher on the price. Still worth it though. The only thing I would say though is I got a good deal on the Titan. 460 plus tax, that's a really good deal. I think the question you might have to ask yourself is 
should you go for the Land Pride or, you know, a better, uh, better name, better brand, uh, Pallet Fork. So that's your call. Next up, the Ballast Box. The Ballast Box MSR list price, at least, hasn't changed. Um, I got it for $299.22, uh, and that was with a 5% coupon I had on the forks and the ballast box at the time. And there was maybe a, a reduction in price, I think, on the uh, ballast box at that time as well. But I think that was one of those, like, fake reductions. It's, you know, list is this, here's your price, and it's like that for months and months and months on that. So best I can tell again, apples to apples, same product. And I've even listed the actual model number. So my receipt lists it as a BLS uh, TBXV2 in the year 2020, that's in 2021, uh, March 1st. In 2022, V3, V, I don't know. The dimensions are different, but I think the dimensions they're showing here just include the, um, the bottom link pins, the top link bracket. That's, that's the delta. The box itself seems to be identical. And then last up, the Landshark uh, box plate, 54 inch uh, box plate. Love that thing. Got it in February of 2021. Listed at the time for $675. Shortly after we purchased it, the pr and by shortly, I mean before we received it, because it took 12 weeks, I think, to get it. Um, maybe two weeks after we purchased it, the price went up to seven something. And as the price sits today, it's $861.71 for that same box blade. And I, again, I think everything attachment still does uh, free shipping. Uh, so all three of those, were they worth it? Yes. I, I think absolutely. Are they still worth it? I'd have to say, I'd have to say yes, even with the price increase. And maybe that's easy for me to say, maybe if you're, you know, borderline and whether or not you have the right money, maybe it's a different situation. That's your decision to make, but I still think totally worth it. And then last up before I run out of daylight here tonight is the, uh, pine straw rake. I got that at Tractor Supply for three forty nine. dollars uh, last, uh, well, it was late summer. I'll put the date up here. And that price has fluctuated ever since. Um, so I'm not really kind of pinning down that particular uh, product as far as a blanket, you know, price increase due to inflation and everything else going on around uh, the world these days. Uh, but again, that was also really, uh, I think, a good attachment to get and well worth it. All right, so that's my take. I tried to keep this as short and sweet as I could. If you have any questions about these prices, the numbers, what I paid, if I missed something here, uh, post it in the comments. Uh, I would be happy to uh, answer that question. Uh, but if you're out looking for a tractor this spring, Good luck with your research, with your uh, purchase. I have another video, and I'll put a link at the end here to that video showing the comparison chart video that I did, I think it was last spring, of various subcompact sub brands and kind of a spec comparison. But I want to caution you two things on that. One, that's a straight-up spec comparison. You need to get in the seat of the tractor. As Neil Messick would say, you got to get some seat time to know whether... A particular tractor is right for you and number two obviously specs change over time I know the BX come out with some new features uh, the Massey I did a double check on the specs just today and they are apples to apples no different uh, no difference at all on the Massey 1723 e actually the only difference on that spec sheet is they changed uh, the spec sheet to show the new Massey logo thanks for watching and if you like the content you like the channel check out a couple videos give me a like and subscribe take care